On the uh, 450 MXR, uh, the things that I really liked about the machine, um, starting with the clutch, number one, it's a hydraulic clutch, uh, so the clutch action is, is awesome. Uh, it's very easy to two-finger it. In fact, you can one-finger it. And I think they're the only one on the market right now doing a, a hydraulic clutch. Uh, so that's a really good thing. Um, the front brakes, I, they switch to a twin piston caliper uh, front brake setup. The front brakes will put you through the windshield. Uh, they're, they're a great setup, and uh, they work very well also. Um, the power of the 450 engine, uh, it's, it's what I really like about it is the fact that you can lug it. Uh, when we were coming up the, uh, the Long Hill section here, um, the, the uh, machine actually worked better in fourth gear. I actually lugged it in fourth uh, rather than you know running it on the rev limiter in third gear. And uh, it seemed to be able to, uh, uh, to do that with no problem. And, and uh, by just slipping the clutch a little bit, you're able to get a little bit of wheel spin you know, if you start to lug the motor down. Uh, and that part works really well. Um, things that, that I'm not crazy about, well actually, uh, I also really like the front suspension. Moving on to things that I wasn't crazy about, we've had a little bit of issue trying to get the rear shock dialed in. Uh, it's both compression and rebound adjustable, um, and I just we just don't have enough time to do it. It's not that it can't be done, we, we're just trying to hurry up, and, and uh, I think with a little bit of time you could dial it in. It, it's, a, it's a great machine ergonomically, feels good, uh, feels small, I'm 6'2", um, so maybe that's why it feels smaller on the side, uh, or on the smaller side to me. but. Um, Overall impression is I really like it. Okay, we're on the, uh, the Polaris Outlaw 525. This is a new machine for 2008 as well. Um, it's actually uh, the Outlaw 525, I believe they call it the S, the sand edition. And um, it's uh, the, the difference between it and the Outlaw with the independent rear suspension is this one doesn't have independent rear sus suspension. It's a solid axle. Uh, it has the KTM 525 engine, which is unreal. It's awesome. Lots of horsepower. It's almost electric. It has torque from the bottom all the way to the top. Uh, you can lug it out of corners. It's just a pretty incredible engine. Uh, Suspension-wise, um, they have Fox uh, podiums up front, although these don't have the, uh, the external reservoir. Um, it has a podium on the rear. Uh, there, there's some pretty killer whoops out, out uh, in the section where we we did a lot of the video with this machine, and um, the fronts work great. The rear was swapping out. Uh, again, um, we could have probably gotten it a lot better than what it was, but uh, you know, we've been out in the sun, and uh, it does it in the bottom for nine hours, so uh, I didn't feel like messing around with it. Um, but overall, an awesome machine. Uh, they're calling it the sand machine. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a really good wood machine, too. You know, it has, has really good power. Um, for the guys that like the Outlaw but don't really like the independent rear suspension, you know, here you have a solid axle. It's, it's got all the good stuff that the Outlaw has, plus, you know, a solid rear axle, which, you know, a lot of guys prefer that over, over the independent rear suspension.